Hello, Roger Gallegos, founder and owner of BK Marketing here. I hope you're having a great uh, morning, day, afternoon, whatever it is uh, at the time you're watching this. I hope it's great for you. Uh, today, uh, we wanted to talk to you about uh, the basics of marketing. And I'll get into what these basics are that I'm uh, referring to uh, in a second. But first, I want to discuss why I feel it's important to talk about the basics of marketing. Um, when you when you look at marketing today, so much is talked about analytics, technology, the platforms, uh, everything that goes into it. And, and rightfully it should, it's very important on what platforms you're using, what, you know, be analytics driven to understand who you're targeting, what's working, what's not working, where you can improve, all these things. But all these things are high level type of thought processes and they sometimes overtake or overshadow the very basics the very simple things so you're doing all these high level things and you start flying or trying to fly before you can even walk or run and you, I see a lot of mistakes being made by people who are just trying to do too much and if they scale it back and just focus on the basics and on the little things it would make their lives a lot easier they would understand what they should be doing instead of trying to keep up with the proverbial Joneses as, as a lot of people try doing. Because the funny thing about when you're keeping uh, to the basics and you're following just the, the principles of good marketing, you become almost foolproof to the changes in technology in a way because no matter what the platform is or no matter what the technology, the purpose of marketing has always been the same from the very beginnings where our ancestors and, and some cultures still today where they were just yelling out their wares from a stall at a market that's the that was the beginning of marketing that was hey i have something here to sell let's bring come in come in come see what i have to sell buy what i have because i'm here to solve your need that has been the very Basically, that's the idea of marketing is saying, hey, you have a need, I have a solution. And that's it. That has not changed through millennia after millennia. But what has changed are the platforms. And what we tend to get caught in this trap of is trying to keep up with the platform. So when the platforms change and the technology advances, we get caught up in that and we forget the basics. And then when we start depending, getting you know, over dependence on platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, or Instagram, and then when something happens with those, we we almost get lost because we don't have these basics down. So in my opinion, if you could get down to those basics that understand what those are and how you can manipulate them to your benefit, then you almost become foolproof to any changes in the industry because if something happens, you're like, oh, okay, I get it, I understand. We just gotta apply those principles to this new platform because you have that basic, you have a sound foundation. So let's look at some of those basics of what I'm talking about um, and see how we can apply those to this concept. So um, very uh, first thing is something you've heard me talk about before in, in videos and if you've seen any of our messaging on um, social media or, or emails or anything else or other blogs that we've, we've put out, it's strategy before tactics. To us, to me, this is the big thing. This is the thing that lays the groundwork for everything because you have to, a strategy for me, it outlines your purpose. It, it's telling yourself, this is what we are doing with our marketing. And when you have your goals defined, you you better understand how, you, you should better be able to understand how you're gonna reach them. So you do that strategy for tactics, otherwise when you just start doing tactics, you don't know what the end goal is, so you don't know what success looks like. So you start with that strategy, and then you work your way backwards, because what the strategy says is, I wanna be here by this date, and I wanna, and I think this is how I wanna go th forward with it. Now, I say I think, because there's no way to know for sure without actually implementing your tactics and doing some analysis and seeing what's working. But you need to have that outline in your strategy first. So that's the first one, strategy before tactics. The next basic is, 
keep it about your audience. I just wrote something recently at the time of this uh, in uh, mid-August. I just put uh, I'll be putting up a, a blog post about this. Um, we tend to forget about our audience, as funny as that sounds. And I know this is true because I've done it. I've done it for myself, and sometimes I get lost when I'm providing content for my clients. As I, you start writing, and you're like, you have to take a break and say, wait, wait a minute, what's the purpose of this? The purpose is you're trying to appeal to people you're trying to sell something to. You're trying to get them to do something, whether it's call, make a purchase, uh, to join an email list. You're trying to get them to take an action. So you need to keep their motivations in mind and understand what they are trying, what, what gets them going. And a lot of some people get lost. This, like I said, I I see it myself. You'll see. Oh, I think this is it. This is what they need to know. Or these are the platforms they'll be on because they're the platforms that I'm on. I don't. I'm not on Instagram or I'm not on YouTube. Well, guess what? If your audience is, you better find a way to put your marketing on there. So keep your audience in mind because they're the most important part of this. You're not writing this stuff for you. You already are a fan of yourself. So don't worry about you or the people closest to you worry about your target audience. They're the ones that you are trying to convince to come in. And keep in mind, this also works for your current clientele because it's a lot easier to keep those customers than it is to go out and get new ones. So keep your current and potential uh, customers in mind when uh, developing your strategy and any content uh, as, as part of that. Um, this next one is, uh, is to be a leader. And what I mean by that is don't be afraid to raise your hand and say, we're the best. Or to be a thought leader. If you think things should be different in your industry or if you do them in a different way, promote that. Put yourself out there. Say, we're the number one innovator of this. Or we do this better than anybody else. And don't just make false claims. Don't do those things. You know, I, like you see in front of uh, used car lots and no knocking them, but the wavy arms you see that you're just trying to get attention. You know that. Be genuine in what you are. But say, hey, look, I know what I'm talking about. You have a genuine need, a genuine pain point. And guess what? I'm the real deal solution. Come to me. This is why we're a leader. Uh, marketing, part of marketing is promoting yourself, well, a big part of marketing is promoting yourself, letting people know why you're the best. So take that opportunity and be that leader. Be that leader of the industry. Don't be afraid. If you know better, if you know that there's a different way, own up to that and let people know about it. Um, the The next thing is be yourself. So I want to be that is be authentic. Like you see me doing these videos. It's just me. It's not a voice actor. I'm not hiring someone. Um, for all intents and purposes, I am Beacon Marketing. And Beacon Marketing is me. This is me. I'm Roger Guy, the founder and owner of Beacon Marketing. So I am doing these videos my way. I'm doing it in my home office. I'm not trying to be gimmicky or doing anything like this. This is who I am. This is what I am. And, and what you're trying to do with your marketing is you're trying to make a connection with people. And the more authentic you are, the more of a chance, the higher of a chance you're going to have of making that connection. If you come off too fake, if you come off too disingenuous, people are going to push away. You may lose some people because maybe that's what they're looking for or they may not like you. But I would much rather have 10 to 20 people who really like me, who really connect with me, then 100 people are so-so, but they just like the shiny and gloss because those 100 people may or may not end up being faithful people, and I may end up having to chase them. But those 10 to 20 people that really like me, that genuinely I made a connection with, they're more likely to not only buy my product or buy my service, but they're more likely to become long-term clients or long-term customers that keep coming back to me because they know and they trust me, and we have that connection. And that part of that goes being yourself goes in hand in hand with knowing your your uh, target audience. So if you're able to mirror those pair of those things together, you really have the beginnings of uh, are the foundation for a really strong connection and a strong foundation for your your messaging. So be yourself. The last thing, and this one seems kind of basic, and you probably understand it if you're watching this video, but re remember that all this is necessary. Uh, this is another blog we recently posted about marketing is not a luxury. You have to do that probably now more so than ever. Gone are the days of just putting out a shingle and saying, hey, open for business, come on in. 
people's lives are way too busy and they're going too fast, too hard. And if you want to be noticed, you have to find a way to get your name out there. Now, you may be get by a word of mouth. Now, what I mean by word of mouth is just recommendations. I know there's that kind of two classification. There's word of mouth and then there's word of mouth marketing. The positive word of mouth can get you going and get you started. Like, in fact, I've gotten leads the first year of my business was mainly word of mouth. But after all, that kind of stagnated because the people that were recommending me, they're busy. They only know a certain amount of people. So at a, at a certain point, hey, hey, I'm recommending you, but you already know everyone I've talked to. You know, so at a certain point, you need to find a way to expand your network, to get beyond your own circle of influence and get into other people's circle of influence and gain that. And part of that is doing marketing. Whatever it is, you have to do some marketing, whether it's social media, email, um, website, uh, paid advertising or traditional methods like radio, print, or TV. You have to find a way to let people outside your organization know how you can make their life better. That is what it's all about, and it is necessary. So to recap, we have strategy before tactics. Keep it about your target audience. Be a leader. Be yourself. And above all, remember, all this is necessary. It's frustrating. It can be difficult, but it is necessary. And if you need help, if you need to uh, run some things by someone, if you're just uh, unsure what to do, never hesitate. Reach out to myself. I am willing and able to help you find your path, find your, your, your way to success. That is why I started Beacon Market. I am looking forward. I am eager to hear from you guys. What, what are things are you struggling? What basics do you feel you have forgotten and can get back to? So keep these basics in mind. They will keep you on the straight and narrow to success no matter what platform, no matter what where your marketing uh, journey may take you. These, these uh, five uh, basics will help keep you on that path. So uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Send me your feedback. Send me your questions. Look forward to speaking to you again. Have a great day. Bye.